Hey guys, this is Merlini and Merlini Dota. I'm here to talk to you about the TI4 Compendium. So this is the second Compendium for Dota 2 ever made, last one being TI3, and it's the green one that you'll see over here. And it only costs $10. You can buy it from the Dota 2 store directly, and $250 of it goes straight to the international for price pool. So what exactly is the compendium? It's just this neat uh, digital book that you get whenever you buy it and um, gives you a little purple border around your name. Uh, you can do a lot of stuff with it, like make predictions, vote for your favorite team, um, vote for all-star match, vote for the 1v1 solo match, and support Valve, support the players, and support Dota 2's growth in general. So. The compendium's price uh, adds to the prize pool. I think that's probably the most significant thing about it. The base prize pool is 1.6 million, and this is Cyborg Matt's website, um, and he showed that in less than 48 hours, the community has raised 1.9 million dollars. So if 250 of each 10 dollars goes to it, and 1.9 million has been raised, that means that 7.6 million dollars has been spent on the compendium, meaning 760,000 compendiums have been um, bought or have. They bought points with it. That's a little side thing I'll get into, but pretty much the community has spent $7.6 million on the compendium. So what does what impact does this have? It means that the players get a ton more money. The price pool is over doubled now, so that means that first place will probably get twice as much as they normally would have, which is a fairly significant chunk of change, and I believe all places 1 through 16 will uh, receive a pretty nice chunk of this money raised by the community, and Valve gets 75% of it. That will help them to develop this nice free-to-play game, not pay-to-win, which is something that's amazing about it, and the price pool is over $3.5 million now. So what does the community community get out of it um, they get a lot of stretch goal rewards so stretch goals you know if you eat, reach X mark you'll get X goal so first one is evolving battle point booster and that means that as you play more games you'll gain more experience than you would have normally meaning you'll level up more and get more items so pretty much you get more items from playing loading screen treasure you just get a cool new loading screen arcana vote you get to decide which hero should receive the next arcana um, you get a special edition HUD. A lot of these were from last year. Yeah, there was a special TI3 HUD and there was a special battle point booster, solo championship vote, same thing as last year. Uh, you can't actually vote on that in the compendium late yet, but I'm sure that it will be released soon. New game mode. This is the one that I am by far the most excited about. Number six unlocks the all random deathmatch game mode available to all players, not just compendium owners. So I like the last one, ability draft. ARDM is the shit. It is awesome. I hope that many of you will love it. I can't think of many players that have tried it and said that mode sucks because it is a ton of fun. Dota is about killing people and it's all about killing in a game called Deathmatch. Immortal Treasures, they had this for TI3. It's just special items created for TI and that's only for a limited time. Chat emoticons. Special emoticons that can be used in Dota 2 chat. Not really sure how cool that's going to be. Mini Punch Courier and the I mean, couriers are a dime a dozen. Music, new matchmaking, 1v1 mid, not terribly excited about any of these uh, other ones. I would have been more, far more excited to see techies like last year, but we're already 3.5 million in. They might actually have to make more stretch goals because I don't know if they really anticipated making uh, $1.9 million in 48 hours. And if we're on that rate, they're going to be just pockets flowing full of cash. Uh, by the time TI4 rolls around, which is in approximately two months. It is July 18th through 21st at the Key Arena in Seattle. So aside from this, what does the company name actually do? Uh, you get to make predictions. So the way you access it is clicking on your profile and then clicking on the compendium. I'm not really sure why mine's not working. Okay, there we go. And last year's champion was Alliance. You'll see all the 11 invited teams. There are going to be four qualifier winners, one from each qualifier, and then the four runner-ups will play for the last slot. So uh, this is what we just talked about and was on the page that I just showed previously. And you can actually level up your compendium this time. You can buy points to the next level, or you can actually participate in various tasks to get more points. You can pick your favorite team, pick your favorite player, uh, play some matchmaking, and win with 10 heroes. And there's a lot more. You can check out the specific list. And if you want to support Dota more, but you don't actually want to buy more compendiums because there's not really point in having more than one compendium unless you want to give one to a friend, you can actually buy points to 
um, add points directly to your total and 25% of this will also go to the price pool. So uh, 500 points is 250, 500 points I believe is five levels. And what exactly do levels do? Right here it tells you um, if you buy 500 points, you'll get from probably level one through five to 10% battle point boost to 20 rather. You get a Kunkas Courier that will level up and change. Lieutenant Squawkins will probably get some cool new wings and particle effects, uh, extra loading screen treasures. And there is no limit to the level. So you can keep on spending if you like, and you get a ton of items, up to 500 battle point booster at level 100, more immortal treasures, alternate skins, custom Dagon effects is pretty cool, custom bottle healing fit, they're all like purple TI4 related. So every year, Valve has a theme color for um, each, the international, first one was red, second one was blue. Um, a lot of people ask how to get the blue background, dash, dash, dashboard, space international underscore 2012 in your, um, console launch options and then ti3 was green ti4 is purple so i'm not actually sure why you can't like predict your first and second place you could last year um, but i'll probably make videos regarding each of these qualifiers the first one is america second one is southeast asia third one is china fourth one is europe so these will be going off for the next two weeks from may 12th through 27th and you can make qualifier predictions there's two pages of qualifier predictions you get points if you get them right and what's different from last year is that you can actually make predictions after the qualifiers start so you get um until the fourth one so once the fourth one starts i think it'll close so you have a little over 12 days from now and you get a lot of information because three-fourths of qualifiers will already be done so they made it a lot more difficult this year in the sense that there are a lot more choices for some like largest critical hit there's a huge range and of course things are going to vary if people get rapier and data list if pa is picked um highest gpm there's a lot a lot more uh, choices in the last year most of them i think there were like two or a few crit i knew i i know that there were more than one there was more than one but highest gpm it was like you know less than 650 or higher than 650 or something like that so that dota did a really good piece on it last year and they had some really good insight and it had data from i think like the past few months of competitive games so be sure to look out for that i'll also have some predictions of my own gathered from uh, my own knowledge gathered from that dota probably and other resources that i'll see so look forward to that if you're if you really um don't know what you're doing and just want someone to guide you of course mine aren't guaranteed to be correct but i did decently last year and you can pick your favorite players you can vote on an all-star match to support your favorite players and at the appendix there are team profiles of the 11 teams that are currently there along with their accomplishments pictures uh top heroes and a little bit of um, information about them so i'm sure more stuff will actually be added to compendium like you'll see the solo championship vote probably there and um you can probably do some stuff with the lieutenant squawkins or kunko courier or whatever that is but pretty much it's just spend ten dollars 250 of it goes to the players 750 um, goes to valve and it's just a nice way to show your support for the game and for the players and as, a, as it's a free-to-play game most people haven't actually spent any money on it because you don't need to pay to win which is extremely nice most video games are what 40 50 60 dollars and if you spend ten dollars a year on it on a compendium then you know you'll get some damn good value out of it anyways thank you guys for watching uh, i'll be following up this video with some talk about the american teams for the qualifiers that are coming up on monday uh, monday may 12th so pay stay tuned for that and if you like my videos you can follow me on twitch youtube facebook twitter all the same slash berlini dota and please subscribe i've been a little lackadaisical about making the videos been busy casting uh, but i'll try to get a lot of material up for ti4 thank you guys